Hey YouTube, I made another uh, video about the Sun Joe. I first want to say I want to give a big shout out to Backyard Warrior One and his review of the Sun Joe pole saw. That guy did a great review, and because of it, I bought the Sun Joe and I've used it to uh, trim a bunch of holly bushes that were rubbing on the roof. But I made a video myself, but I want to make another one because I'm I'm pulling this apart to clean it for the first time, and I'm a guy who's had uh, a steel um, gas chainsaw, a uh, Husqvarna gas chainsaw, a Remington electric chainsaw, a Harbor Freight Portland chainsaw, an electric one, and now the Sun Joe. What I noticed in uh, cutting today, and I cut a lot, was I didn't see a bunch of oil dripping everywhere. The chain stayed oiled. You want to pull the cover off. Let's do this one. want to pull the cover off. There was um, wood shavings in here that had oil in them. Oil in the chain, but the point is it wasn't dripping everywhere. I'm used to chainsaws dripping everywhere because of their um, oil reservoir. Well, <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to show up, but when I pulled this off and pulled the bar off, I noticed that there's this oil reservoir right there. See it? Look at this. See that? That's the oil. Well, that may not be focusing. That's the oil right there. And there's a rubber gasket that goes around it. So when the chain, when the bar is on, it's pressed against this thing. See? And then the oil seeps out and gets onto the bar and see this plate right here it's like this rubberized plate this rubberized plate pinches it from the other side so i think that's why it's not dripping everywhere like my other chainsaws when you're not using it this rubber gasket and this rubber gasket holds the oil in it's really nice anyway i thought i'd show you this it might help someone make a decision. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.